everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you another shitty story about how I abused children. This is technically a part two um, from my last story that I told last week, but you don't really need to watch that story to know what's going on in this story. Basically, this is the story about the kids of the people that I worked for and their, the person I worked for, their kid and grandkids. Does that make sense? I, I hope it does, but I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically, I babysat these four children for probably six months, maybe? Maybe five, maybe four, four to six months, I don't know. I don't know the exact dates, I don't fucking give a shit. At the time that I babysat them, they fucking loved me. I don't think I've ever had children that loved me so much as they did. They called me their big sister, their best friend. They got jealous when my best friend told them that I that she was my best friend. Like, they were totally convinced that they were the only friends that I had ever had and they were I was their big sister and we were so close. Um, yeah. So for Christmas last year, 2016, I spent almost $250 on these four children. Um, I totally put time and effort into each of their gifts. I did get them similar things just because I knew that they would fight over it. Um, they are very spoiled. I think their parents probably spend around $2,000 on them for Christmas. So I knew that I had to get them something similar so they wouldn't fight over it and it would be this whole big extravaganza when it didn't have to be. If I just got them similar things, they wouldn't fight over it because they would all get the same things. Except for the baby, I did get him something different, but other than that, it was like I got them all basically the same thing. I think there was like one thing that each of them got that was different, but other than that, one of their children was all, or one of their ch child, Oh my god, what the fuck is English? One of their children was always in my work. She would come there after school and she wrote on my hand, this hand right here. No, I think it was this one. I don't know. I'll show you the picture right here. As you can see, she told me that I was the best babysitter ever and they kept reminding me that throughout the time I babysat them um, and honestly, they were the best kids to babysit. They were super, super outgoing. They all had different personalities. They were so freaking cute. I loved them to death. I still love them to death. Um, yeah, I just, I, I loved babysitting for them, not that, I loved babysitting them, not that, um, the other children I've babysat, I don't like babysitting them because I've loved all the children I've babysat, but um, these kids were just truly, like, special and just, just special kids and, ugh, I love them so much. So throughout the time I babysat for them, I texted their parents and asked them if my brother could come over and help me. He wasn't really much of a help, he just kind of, um... He didn't like being home alone, so I he wanted to come with me so he wouldn't be home alone. And I asked him if that was okay, and they said yes, it was fine. Um, he, one day he was jumping on their trampoline, which was extremely broken. It had holes in it, and it was like just wearing out. I can't even... I That trampoline was probably older than their youngest kid, um, which was almost two years old, I think. And maybe it was like one and a half, I don't know. Um, but it was definitely super old. It had holes in it and it was just worn out. Oh my god, it was worn out as fuck. Let's just say that. One day my brother was jumping on it. He jumped up and slammed down on his butt and he went right through the trampoline. And I was inside making their dinner because I cooked a lot for them. And yeah, I'll show you the picture right So yeah, my brother broke their trampoline. Uh, I told them when they came home, I was like, you know what, I'm so sorry that this happened. And they were like, you know what, it's fine. Like, we don't really care. They were laughing about it, which was hilarious. Like, we all just sat around laughing about it. My brother's poor butt was hurt. Um, he didn't, you know, it wasn't fractured. His pelvis, his back, his spine, I don't know wasn't broken or anything 
So, nothing was broken, nothing was severely hurt, it was just something that we could all laugh over, and we did all laugh over, um, it was honestly, like, super funny in the long run, just because my brother wasn't hurt over it, and, yeah. So, as you all know, if you watched the first video, the people that I babysat for was also the people that I worked for. The people that I babysat for, it was their mom that I worked for, so... Yeah, we all had a connection, and if you watched the first video, you would know that I went to the labor board about being paid $5 an hour, basically being a slave in their business, and I went to the labor board, and then that created a whole thing with the family and the people that I worked for, and then it became a whole thing with the people I babysat for, because they were related, and obviously they're not going to go against each other. Now, the person I worked for, her kid... He, blah 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 he had a partner I talked to the girl about it they were like you know what I know that this person's being paid this much and which was the same amount as I was being paid and she was like honestly <coughs> Jeez. she was like honestly I would go to the labor board about it I don't know why you're putting up with them blah 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 like telling me all this shit and then all of a sudden I did do what she said and she was like <sighs> You're not babysitting for my kids ever again. Family sticks together, blah blah blah. You're mad that you were being, you finally got called out on your bullshit. So whatever. I didn't really care about that. I honestly just, it broke my heart for the kids that they didn't get their best babysitting ever. <laughs> babysitting for them anymore. Um, yeah, it kind of broke my heart that I didn't get to see them ever again. Because I did love those kids and they were like, they meant to they meant the world to me. It was like honestly like probably the only thing keeping me alive at the time because I did have a pretty hard life, you know, working at a shitty job and you know, every weekend, sometimes throughout the week, I would get to see these kids and they would just brighten up my entire day and make me laugh and I don't even know why I'm crying right now, but you know, it was true, I would, I have a therapist, obviously, and I would tell her about them, and how they would call me their big sister, and it was like, honestly a dream come true, just knowing that these kids looked up to me, and that I wasn't a piece of shit to everyone in my life, because I knew I let a lot of people down, and just knowing that these kids looked up to me, and felt like they knew, they loved me, it like, it made me feel really good about myself for once in my life. Jesus Christ, why am I crying? Fuck. Shit. <sighs> um, their parents would tell me that, you know, they pay me when they got money and, you know, they have to work first and get all this money to pay me back. And I was like, you know what, I baby, I work for their parents, I babysit for these kids, we are like family. And I really did call... <sighs> I called the person I worked for my mom. Because we were really, we're really close, we went through a lot of the same shit, and um... Oh my god, they treated me like shit, why am I fucking crying over them? Wow, um... <sighs> I called her my mom. We were really close. Um, they called me their big sister, you know? It was like a family friendship type of thing. And um, they said they would pay me back. By the end of it all, they owed me um, almost $200. I think it was like $190, $185 or something like that. Um, and they refused to pay it. Why? Because my brother broke their trampoline. I, uh, if they wanted me to pay for their trampoline, I would. If they told me that, I would've. Because I'm not the type of person to, you know. It was old as fuck. It was broken as fuck already. If they asked for me for money, I would've done it. I would've been like, you know what? I understand, here's the money to pay for the trampoline. Um, I'm so sorry that happened. But they were laughing about it. They didn't give a fuck. And that's what they said. That's what they acted like. And they said that they didn't owe me money because I broke their trampoline. Or my brother broke their trampoline. 
And then they proceeded to tell me that they never told me that my brother could come over and help me babysit or come over to babysit with me. Um, I don't remember if I said this before, but I posted this on Facebook and said, do not babysit for these people. They won't pay you back. I can't even tell you how many people asked me to babysit for them because I, I was free, obviously. Um, and how many people messaged me saying that these people did the same thing to them. They wouldn't pay them. They made up some excuse and said, you know what, we're not paying you anymore. It just disgusts me that someone would do this to kids who just want a babysitting job, who just want, who love children and just want a job that doesn't require a lot of hours, that just make a little bit money on the side, like, it just disgusts me that they would do this to people, let alone a lot of people.